Welcome back to Think Thrice Problem Solving. Today we're going to be solving an awesome integral. So let's take a look at it. So this integral was uh, put up on Instagram by Black Pen Red Pen. Uh, go check out his channel, it's pretty cool. Um, and we're looking at this, it looks pretty darn terrifying. So if you want to give it a try, go ahead and pause the video and uh, give it an attempt. Otherwise, we're going to jump straight into our solution. <clears throat> so the first thing I'm going to notice when I'm looking at this is that I have this infinite series down here, okay? Um, so I have some, some infinite nested roots uh, where my square root's increasing every time. So the way that I'm gonna look at this is let's go ahead and rewrite it, but let's look at each individual term. So my first term here is x. My second term, let's take a look at this x to the ln of x. So we have times x to the natural log of x, and that whole thing is being raised to the one-half power. Square root is the same as one-half. Okay, then I have this next guy. I have that multiplied by x to the natural log square root of x. And this thing is being raised to the one-third power. But notice that it's also inside the other radical, so that's also going to be raised to the one-half power. Okay, then I can look at this next term over here. We have x to the natural log cubed of x. This is being raised to the one quarter power, but that's being raised to the one third power, and that's being raised to the one half power, because this radical is inside this radical, inside this radical. And this is just going to continue. This is going to keep going on forever. <clears throat> Okay, so as with most infinite expressions, is there a cleaner way that we can write this? So let's try to go here and see if we can simplify this a little further. So I'm going to rewrite this again. We have the integral from 0 to 2 of x. And then when we have exponents, so if I have something raised to another power, I can multiply exponents. So this is going to be times x raised to the ln of x over 2. I'm going to do the same thing with this next guy, but ln squared of x, this is going to be x to the ln squared of x over 3 times 2, so over 6, which is right there. Then we're going to do the next term, so this is going to be multiplied by x to the natural log cubed of x over 1 quarter times 1 third times 1 half, which is going to give me 1 or uh, 24. Okay, and this will, as before, this will continue to the right. And then if I add, so if I have x times 1 times x to the ln of x over 2 times x to the ln squared of x, I can combine those as well. So let's go ahead and combine those exponents by adding them. And we get x raised to 1 plus ln of x over 2 plus ln squared of x over 6 plus ln cubed of x over 24, and so on. <clears throat> okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to look at this exponent up here. So I have this big giant exponent. Sorry, I forgot my dx. So let's see if we can simplify that expression. So right now we have this series up uh, top, and it looks, I don't know, it looks like there's some patterns involved here. So what we notice is if I was to bring that guy down, it's 1 plus natural log of x over 2 factorial plus natural log squared of x over 3 factorial plus natural log cubed of x over 4 factorial. And this 1, I can rewrite 1 as ln of x to the 0th power, and then this is to the 1st, divided by 1 factorial. Okay, so that is a series that I can definitely write a power series expression for. So let's do that. So it looks like what I have here is the sum from n equals 0 Uh, or I guess I'm going to write it in this way. I'm going to write it as n equals 1 to infinity 
of natural log of x raised to the n minus 1 power divided by n factorial. Okay? So that whole expression is going to be equal to that guy. All right, so I've already said, so if you've taken a, uh, a calculus class, you've probably been introduced to the idea of a power series, and specifically to Taylor series. And this guy almost looks like Taylor series, uh, what we usually see. The problem is we have an exponent that should be going to um, n, and this n side is usually an x, but we can, we can do with a little substitution there a little bit later. But let's try to get this thing into a typical thing that looks like a Taylor series format. So we have to fix our uh, function here just a little bit. So we want this to be raised to the nth power. So let's go ahead and divide. So if we take our sum here and we divide by natural log of x, then that means everything inside is going to be multiplied by natural log of x. Then I'll get the sum from n equals 1 to infinity of ln of x now raised to the n over n factorial. Okay, and then the next thing we notice is that when I'm dealing with uh, a Taylor series, I usually want to start at n equals 0. So let's try to get this thing to look even more like a Taylor series. And we can do that by taking out um, or adding one more term. So we want to add a term when n equals 0. So when n equals 0, let's do a little aside here. If n equals 0, then I get 1 over 0 factorial, which is equal to 1. So that's a, that's a video that we could do at a later date, but 0 factorial is actually going to be 1, although that probably doesn't make sense if you haven't done too much uh, advanced math. Um, but when we come in here, so we should be getting 1. So if I added 1, so if I wanted to start this series at 1, so let's go ahead and do that. So this would be 1 over ln of x times the sum from n equal 1 to infinity of natural log of x to the n over n factorial, except I'm no longer doing it at n equal 1. I want it to be at n equals 0. So I'm adding a 1. So in order to do that, I'm going to need to subtract. So this is outside of this expression. I'm going to need to subtract 1 over ln of x. Okay, And the reason I'm doing that is if I'm adding 1 inside this expression, then I need to subtract 1, but that 1 that I'm subtracting is getting multiplied by 1 over ln of x. Okay, so now we have a new expression where I have, I'm going to rewrite this with negative 1 over natural log of x plus 1 over natural log of x times the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of ln of x to the n over n factorial. All right, this is where we start to get a little bit excited. So, this is going to seem like a magic jump if you're not familiar with Taylor series. But the Taylor series of e to the x is going to be equal to the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. Okay, so these two expressions, believe it or not, they are the same function. So what we can do is we can do a substitution. So I notice that this is e to the x um, is x to the n. So if I have the sum from n equals 0 to infinity of ln of x to the n over n factorial, that's going to be equal to e to the, you guessed it, natural log of x. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that guy in there, and we get e to the ln of x. All right, so let's come back up here. So we bring this down, and our function here is now we're going to have negative 1 over natural log of x. I'm going to factor that out, so I have 1, uh, so I'll factor out the negative. So I'm going to have negative 1 
plus, now e to the natural log of x, which is just 1 over the natural log of x, e to the ln of x is, remember natural log uh, means e to what equals x, and it turns out e to x is going to be that. So uh, this is just going to be x, this whole expression here. So what we're left with is going to be x minus 1. All right, so just to give people a little bit of reminder of where we're coming from. So if I scroll up just a little bit, I can see the whole reason I was doing that is I have this expression up here where I'm taking the integral from 0 to 2 of x raised to that power. So let's come on back down here. So I have my original problem was the integral from 0 to 2 of x now it's going to be raised to 1 over natural log of x times x minus 1 dx. Okay, And if you're in a Calculus 1 class, you might be looking at this and saying, oh great, so that was a lot of work. We've come up with something that maybe looks a little bit better than our original problem, but this is still a tough integral. Okay, but let's take a look at it, and we're going to see, we notice that we have this 1 over ln of x here. So we're gonna to try to get rid of that, and the way we're gonna get rid of that is we're gonna use the same uh, substitution we did up here. So notice what we did here is we said that x is equal to e to the ln of x. So let's go ahead and make that substitution here with this guy and rewrite this as the integral from zero to two of e to the ln of x raised to that power, so it's going to be times 1 over ln of x times x minus 1 dx. Some magic things cancel, so these natural logs go away. And what do you know? I'm left with an integral that any Calc 1 student can solve. Integral from 0 to 2 of e to the x minus 1 dx. Beautiful. So how do I do that? So the, the uh, derivative of e to the x minus 1 is itself. So when I integrate this one, I'm just going to get e to the x minus 1 evaluated from 0 to 2, which is e to the 2 minus 1, which is e, minus e to the 0 minus 1, so 1 over e. And that is going to be my final answer. So a lot of fun here. I hope you enjoyed that little journey with us. We had a few tricks to do uh, along the way. So just to summarize, we started off, we simplified our expression by using some exponent rules. And we came up with this series that was in the exponent. We noticed that that series looked like a power series. And then we simplified that power series to make it look even more like a Taylor series. Once we got in the right format, we see that it looks like the Taylor series approximation of e to the x. So we did some substitution, did a little bit more magic uh, in the integral with exponents, and then got our final answer. Hope you enjoyed working through this. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you have your own problem that you'd like me to do or that you'd like to get a video, then go ahead and please submit it. As you're working through your own problems, if you get frustrated, think twice. If you get even more frustrated, think thrice. Thanks.